Guys, safety equipment is a scooterist. Do we wear it or don't we wear it? Okay. I've seen loads of people asking online, like, you know, um, what safety gear can I get as a scooterist, but I don't want to look like a, like a biker or a rocker or a greaser or a sports biker. And um, it's a confusing one because you see the guys going out on the rallies and um, just t-shirt, shorts, open face helmet. Do they wear that when they're going at speed on the open roads? What do you do, right? Share, put it in the comments below. Um, because everyone's got different views on it. And if you've ever come off and experienced a bad accident in t-shirt, shorts, trainers, let us know, right? Let's, let's hear it. Um, me personally, I didn't want to take any risks. So I've invested in some gear. I got this jacket, which was half price. It was about 75 quid, so it was reduced from about 150. It's leather, it's AA rated, right, which is pretty good. I believe that the rating system has changed from five levels down to three, but it went AAA or AAA, AA, A, B and C. So this was an AA rated on the old system. I think it changed down to three levels. I'm no expert on it, so don't quote me on that. It's just what I've read online. But yeah, pleased with the jacket. And I feel it gives me a little more confidence, you know, just to ride a bit more confidently. It's got the elbow protectors, the shoulder protectors. It's got the back protector. So it gives me confidence um, as a new rider. Okay, but what do you wear? Do you wear a Harrington? Do you wear a monkey jacket? Do you wear a Parker? Do you wear something completely different? Do you wear leathers, right? Let us know. Or do you wear nothing at all? Um, what else have I got? I invested in these jeans, okay? These jeans are called Red Roots. They've got hip protection. Like really solid, solid hip protection. We've got knee protection. But when you're wearing them, they just feel like normal jeans. They're thick and they're heavy, but they're very, very well protected. Um, if you look here, right, I've already had one incident. You see that mud there? I've already had a little incident. I'm gonna do a separate video about the incident and how these jeans and about why I'm wearing, or why I chose to invest in this full face helmet. This helmet's called the Bi City. Right, and it's one of the few helmets that I could find with like a retro look. I always said to myself I was gonna get an open face helmet because they look so cool, right? And maybe an open face is all right for doing rallies and just tootling around at five mile an hour in a group. But as soon as I get out on the road, I want a full face helmet on and this has already saved me. So this and the jeans have already come into play and I'm gonna do a separate video about a little incident that I had and how the, the gear saved me. But this helmet, by the way, really, really pleased with it. It's, uh, the visibility on it is amazing. It's nice and plush inside. I might do a separate video about the helmets because I've experienced a couple so far, good and bad. And I'm gonna go into that just for anybody's, uh, anybody's benefit. And then the other thing I invested in, um, are these gloves, right? So I've got gloves. These are called, I think they're called Course. Um, yeah, the manufacturer's called Course. But really nice fitting gloves. Um, we've got protection on the knuckles, good protection, not too bikery, right? A little bit more scootery, a bit more gentlemanly, really pleased with them. And they match the brown leather of the jacket. All right. So really pleased uh, with my safety gear, but I'm keen to know what you wear, right? What do you wear? Do you wear nothing at all? Do you just wear an open face helmet? Do you wear protective gear? Um, do you not think it's necessary on a scooter or is it essential? Let us know in the comments below particularly keen to hear from anybody who's come off at speed and what kind of damage it did to your body if you were wearing nothing, all right? So, um, I mean, wearing nothing in terms of safety kit, not nothing at all in your birthday suit, right? Guys, comment below and uh, keep safe. Looking forward to hearing everybody's views on this, all right?